hello friends welcome to my channel tech lt words so today we are going to discuss about ss block so as i have written like ss block part 1 uh the reason behind this is like that ss block is a big topic and if we have to cover all the aspects of this uh, it can't be can so complete uh, in a one part that's why i have divided into two or three parts maybe so the first part we will discuss so the first one that we will come to know, know that what is ss block so ss block is basically the synchronization signal and the ss block consists of pss sss and pvcs in general we can say now this ss block as we know that for the initial cell search in both the modes like idle inactive mode or you can say it in a connected mode so this is basically uh, used for the initial cell search and now we can see that ss block consists of four symbols and that is categorized in all these three part pss consists of one symbol sss consists of one and the pvcs consisting of the two symbols so with all the downlink transmission what whatever is going in nr ss block transmission is basically based on ofdm ofdm we can see uh, the figure of time frequency structure of ss block how exactly the ss block uh, looks like and uh, how uh, the positioning of pss pvch and sss uh, are there in frequency and time domain so we can see like the ss block span is basically a four ofdm symbol in the time domain and 240 we can see 240 sub carrier in a frequency domain in this we can see the pss transmission is basically in the first ofdm symbol of the ss block and it occupies 127 127 sub carriers now when we come to about uh, when we come to know about sss sss will be in the third ofdm symbol and it is it is occupying the same space like pss that is 127 sub carriers and when we are talking about the pvcs the pvcs is transmitted transmitted within the second and the fourth ofdm symbol we can see second and the fourth ofdm symbol of this complete sss block and in addition with that pvcs is also transmitted uh with the uh, we can see uh, using 48 sub carriers on both the sides of sss so this is the total total you can say the time frequency uh, structure of the sss block where uh, where uh, the this pss sss and pvch uh, locations are defined so in S if you go about the sss block in the frequency domain we can see like in lt the pss and sss was always located at the center frequencies but there is a big drawback in this when the pss and sss are locating at the center frequency then suppose uh, there are many device which has no any prior knowledge or no any prior input of the frequency domain carrier positioning that will search pss and sss at all the possible you can say position of the carrier that all the position of the carrier that we know as the carrier raster so in that case or we can first of all we will define like carrier and a channel raster what exactly is it? it is the, it is the distance between the two neighboring channels in a frequency band so based on a carrier raster the ss block location within each frequency band a more limited set of possible locations of ss blocks that is referred as a synchronization raster we can see we can say like that in nr instead of searching for an ss block at each and every position of the carrier raster a device will directly uh, you can say it will need the ss block to search so the uh, in in a, in a special uh, synchronization raster now we can see like the ss block periodicity may vary from 5 ms to 160 ms 
but it's like however the device is doing the whenever the device is doing the initial search or a, or in an inactive idle state doing the cell search can consider that the SS block is repeated at least once every 20 ms that is four which you can see like it is four times longer than lt but when when you will say about the periodicity uh, th there are a lot of things uh, which is uh, depending this periodicity so in going forward this uh, you can say in the second part we have a lot of thing to discuss on this i will try to cover all the uh, major points uh, which will be highlighted for this ss block and this is very very uh, long topic to uh, cover in in a two three videos also but uh, i will try to summarize this so for today we will close the discussion here and uh, next in next class i will uh, be sharing the part two in which i will try to discuss more on ss block and i will include uh, the pbch also so thanks for today keep learning sharing and if uh, you found any uh, you can say uh, mistakes uh, in my video please just uh, point out so thanks for today